what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Went out all over the world. Do you remember that from Bugs Bunny? Oh my god, no. You the don't remember Bugs Bunny? The only thing I remember about Bugs Bunny is that big red monster that looks like a tooth. And he gets his nail. <laughs> Bugs Bunny does his nails. You don't remember that? That looks like a tooth. Oh, what's his name? Uh, I know. I'm totally gonna look it up more. Okay, so I am here with my friend Scott. Scott, what do you do? Uh, I am an IT program manager, consultant kind of person. Yeah. So Scott and I know each other from my days in corporate when I was a consultant at Coca-Cola. Yep. That's how we met. And I asked Scott to join me because I want to get a guy's input on style and what you think of cruelty-free fashion, what you think of just style in general. And being in IT, you probably don't have a lot of, I don't know, it's not like you dress up all the time. or. Yeah, we get real dressed up, usually like flip-flops. Yeah, <laughs> so, but that's good because I just want a guy's opinion on um, when you do have occasion to dress up, how you approach it. Okay. So what do you think? I'm, I'm loving it, let's do this. Okay. All right. And go. And go, oh, <laughs> I just gotta talk about style? Well, I sent you those questions, right? Oh, the questions, so um, what was the first question? Something about approach to style, or what do I think of the well, curve yeah. style? Well, what, yeah, what's your approach to style? Like, say you're going to, I don't know, like say you're gonna go to some charity benefit. Okay, so I take a very classical approach to style. I like a nice suit, well tailored, usually a dark color, um, and I actually am a fan of the French cuffs and a big, big knot for the tie. Big knot, why big knot? Um, so small knot, single Windsor, to me says casual, mm -hmm. and if you're going to a formal event or a semi-formal event, I just like to be a little bit more dressed up, and I think the bigger knot just gives you a more professional kind of look. Okay. I don't really know a lot about men's fashion. See, I don't know a lot about women's fashion, so it's kind of the same thing. Like, no one would ever really notice that unless you said something, and I'm yes. sure that ladies do, that now they worry look. about that I never notice. So. <laughs> now I'm going to look when I go out to a formal event. <laughs> that's a big knot. That's a little knot. You watch it on TV. Like, I always, I always watch on TV because a lot of shows are filmed in California, and there's a considerably uh, different style in California yes. than you get on the East Coast. So, yes, California is more casual. You see a lot of single windows, small knots. Yes. Sometimes they're a little loose. Sometimes, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You probably don't think about style very much. I would, I would guess <laughs> in IT, like just in your day to day, you're not, you don't wake up and how can I look great, you know? Well, I, I mean, I want to look good when I leave. Right, the house, right. You don't want to look like a slob, but right. but how do guys think of style in general? I think guys pay attention to style, They're probably more attention in social settings than they are in professional settings. Huh. So, okay. if I'm going to work, I probably have a rack of clothes that I'll choose, and it's probably a couple dress shirts and some slacks or some nice pants or something like that, and I'm not really worried about it. They match, okay, I look good. Yes. Um, but if I'm going out, if I'm going to a restaurant, if I'm going on a date, something like that, it's usually dressy jeans, very nice sneakers, I'm going to pay a lot more attention to the accessories that I'm wearing. So, and that, that's in general, but... Yeah. Do you notice when other guys are like total slobs? I do notice those things. I'll sit in a meeting and go, I wonder if he knows that shirt's blue and those, you know, that, those pants are black or something like that. Like, it's amazing how many times people can't tell the difference. So what colors are you not supposed to mix? Oh, okay. Let me think about this one. Um, I think the rules for guys are different. Yeah, it is different, right? So I'm not gonna wear, like, something in the gray color spectrum, black color spectrum, mm -hmm. with brown shoes or a brown belt, right? I'm gonna yes. wear a black belt. Yes. But there are times you can use brown and black together, that's just not one of them. Okay. Um, I would also stay away from dark shades of navy and black because it looks like you're either not sure which one's which or you're colorblind. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you can wear blue and black together. They've just got to have enough contrast. Enough, where, enough contrast. Yeah. Okay. Very See, good. look, I know a little bit. You know more than I thought you did. <laughs> <laughs> See, guys, that's the thing. Like, guys do know about fashion. They just don't like to... They don't like it. Yeah, so am I, I allowed know. to, like, show the world this video? You can show the world anything you record. <laughs> almost anything you record. <laughs> Well, I mean, one of the reasons I asked you to talk is because you are like, you know, you're my, you're my friend, obviously, but you're just kind of representative of typical guys who you look good, but you're not like fashion obsessed. No. You know, you're, you're. I apologize in advance to all the other normal guys out there if I'm really <laughs> representing you poorly. So. <laughs> I think you're doing a fantastic. Okay, job. good. What about cruelty-free fashion? Cruelty-free fashion. So I'll give you a little bit of backstory on this. So. Previous to meeting you, I didn't pay attention to any of that stuff, right? And then we started working together and we went out to lunch and you said, oh, I'm vegan because I care about the, you know, the, how we care for animals and what we do with them. So 
I'm a guy, I'm like, right? So I may never become vegan, but it does get you thinking about, okay, how does all this stuff work and what am I really doing and, and what's society really doing all these animals or creatures or whatnot? Um, and I think the next logical step flows right into fashion, right? Because you hear about, the two things you think about when you think about cruelty to animals other than eating is the like pharmaceutical industry or the medicine industry and fashion industry because we're, yeah. we're doing things with them that we probably shouldn't do. So the idea that a purse or a handbag or a shirt or something or a belt can be developed without hurting animals in any kind of way, I think that's the next big thing. Great. So you would be open to purchasing those items like the next time you are out for belts or shoes or whatever? Absolutely. Is that for your own personal wardrobe? Yeah, absolutely. And I think you're going to find that like people might not think about it now, but as it gets advertised, it'll start people thinking and yeah. they'll say, yeah. well, I can get the one that wasn't cruel to animals or I can get the one that was cruel to animals and they kind of look at this, okay, I'm going to take the one that's not. They're very, yeah, they're very similar. And one of the reasons I started this show is because the materials that they're coming out with these days are very close to leather, which I guess if you don't like leather for ethical reasons, maybe that would be creepy for you. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't mind because I know it's not real leather and I want something that looks fashionable. And it's a great conversation starter, in my opinion. So I have these bags that I review on this channel and people ask me about them. Or they say, oh, I didn't know that brand existed. And that's a really beautiful piece. I'm interested in this brand now. So I'm trying to get the word out about these brands. Um, but I think you're right, as veganism continues to expand and just awareness of how we treat animals in general continues to expand, that will go from what we eat to what we wear to the medicines we take and even the cosmetics. And it's really easy to find cruelty-free cosmetics these days. And it's really easy, I think, to find cruelty-free fashion items. You just have to know where to look. That's good to hear that you would. There's a you mentioned cosmetics. I mean, as a guy, I don't wear cosmetics, but I never would have thought of that. But well, yeah, I, I was going to say, your lipstick looks lovely yeah, this morning. Does right. the shade work with the shirt? <laughs> it works, but yes, it's very neutral, very <laughs> natural. <laughs> it took me a while to pick it out, sorry. Oh, man. If you did, I would still love you. <laughs> <laughs> don't get me started. <laughs> That's probably one thing you'll never have to worry about, <coughs> wearing cosmetics. <coughs> Don't die on me. <coughs> I hate it when I do that though, because I drink too quickly, and it goes down the wrong pipe, and then I'm like on the floor fainting because I can't get any oxygen. <laughs> so yes, where were we? We were talking about um, the NFL season coming up and what teams we thought were going to be. <coughs> what teams do you think are going to... I have no idea. It, unfortunately, it's always going to be the Patriots because they're the Patriots and they're going to they're going to win. I hate that. I know nothing about. We are talking football. Right? We are talking okay, football. Right. So you're like you're like you should be like a Buffalo fan, right? I should be from Rochester, New York. Because I'm I'm from Rochester, New York, and I should be a Buffalo fan. But you know, I just don't follow sports. Oh, uh, you should. Why? Because guys love when a girl follows sports. If you can be stylish and follow sports, you're a keeper. Okay, but does that mean that every Sunday during football season, I have to put up with a guy going, being gone all day just to watch football? No, you're supposed to go with him. But I don't want to go with him. Oh! <laughs> all right, let's talk hockey. <laughs> Actually, hockey I used to follow when I was much younger because in Rochester we had, we played against Toronto. And you had no son, so obviously soccer or hockey is the next watchable sport. Yeah, it was indoors and it was fun. And I used to like going to watch hockey because Every once in a while, a player would get pinned against the side, and he would be like squirming to get out, and I thought that was funny. Who knew she had a violent side? Who knew? <laughs> yes, I try not to act on it. Ah, all right, yeah. we can get off sports. I, I'm not. <laughs> I mean, I know sports, but I don't know well enough to talk about the camera. Yeah, I don't. I know nothing mm -hmm. about. I would. I would be the comic relief if we were trying to talk about sports. <laughs> did you have anything more to say about that? About style in general? Yeah. I do have something to say about style in general, and I hope women are watching this. Oh. oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so this whole like bringing back things, the reason they're not here anymore is because they're not good, <laughs> right? Like for example? Mom jeans. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. right. So I'm in a unique situation because I coach college sports, right? And yes. I have a co-ed team, men and women. Yes. And I talked to the girls about this because I'm curious. I was like, those were horrible in the 80s and they were horrible in the 90s. Why are you wearing it now? And they're like, oh my God, it's cute. It's a new thing. No, it's not. Uh -uh. Just throwing it out there. So there are things that bother me about style. Like you can have if you if you were 
if you're in a style, you can have your own opinions, you can have your own style, you can do mm -hmm. your own thing. Yeah. Simply by following a bandwagon or following what the latest fad is, it'll get you so far, but you're not going to be original, right? You're going to look like everybody else who's at the bar, you're going to look like everybody else who's in the office. So, yeah. you know, express yourself, have fun, and don't do what they did in the 80s because it's not good. So, okay, so, but aren't there limits to expressing yourself? I mean, we all don't want to walk into the office um, in, I don't know, a burlap sack for, that's a very unimaginative example. It's very but, organic. <clears throat> in the kitchen, maybe if you're storing potatoes. Um. Yeah, of, of course, there's, limit, there's limits to everything, right? Like, right. Um, you look at, I don't watch fashion on TV, but right, if you watch TMZ and all this kind of stuff, there's always like, hey, this is a fashion show going on, and you watch what these yeah. people are wearing, you're like, I would never wear that out, or anywhere. Yeah. So, I mean, I understand they're trying to exemplify certain things that are going on from a style perspective, but you wouldn't wear those things. Right. So maybe you take hints from it, or clues, but mm -hmm. you don't necessarily have to wear like a you know big dress that sticks out 30 feet, because that was the latest fashion. Let's talk about style in New Jersey oh, no. versus Atlanta. <laughs> Am I doing know. the Jersey yeah. accent all right? Jersey, it's you got it's it's weird. You can't say you can't say water. You have to say water. Water. And that's that almost New York. Water. That's almost New York. What, say it again. I have to be drunk to do this. Let's do it. You say it, and I'll try and water. repeat. Water. 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 Wawa. Wawa. You ever been there? Ever been where? Wawa. Wawa. It's a convenience store. No. <laughs> no. There's a convenience store called Wawa? Yeah. No, there is not. I swear to God, you can look it up. <laughs> it's huge in the Northeast. Like it's it's Wawa. like a it's like a it's like a thing. Like you can't go to work without stopping at Wawa. I do not believe you. Oh my god. <laughs> Am I lying? Come on, you people in the Northeast. I'm He's not lying. lying. I'm not lying. He's lying. I mean it's better than what Liars we have in the South. Northeast. We want to talk about differences between the North and the South. Let's talk about food. <clears throat> south has no idea how to make food. North? Yeah. <sighs> but this is a fashion channel. Oh yeah, well you can get food on your shirt. Although I, I will say, um, <laughs> <laughs> this is why I picked him. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm regretting that decision now. Oh, but <laughs> most <of you> do. <laughs> um, I will say that for for if you are a vegan, then uh, there are a lot of options in Atlanta, but New York is going to be better. Yeah, I mean it's a it's a mecca for everything. Yeah. So, That's true. But Atlanta, if you look at Atlanta, fashion style, culture, food, whatever, it's grown up a lot in the last 15 years. Yes, it so has. I lived here in the late 90s, early 2000s, and it was boring. Mm -hmm. And like, I was listening to the radio one day, and Atlantans voted the best pizza in Atlanta was Papa John's. I don't even know if that qualifies as pizza. I don't even know what it is, but it's not pizza. Anyway, that shows you how messed up Atlanta was. Yeah. And I come back 15 years later, and all of a sudden there's these amazing restaurants, these amazing stores, yes. this culture, these microbreweries. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's kind of neat how it's, it's grown up a little bit, I like it. Yeah, I think that has a lot to do with the tech scene that's grown up here. And the entertainment industry has also grown up in that time. Yep. So I'm sure that all of these fancier places are serving the market that's coming here. And um, you guys probably know I'm in the entertainment industry, I'm an actress, and so I have watched the industry grow in Atlanta quite a bit. What part of New Jersey are you from? South Jersey. What are the style trends there? Are they different from here? Oh man, it's been a while. Um, I just in general because of the the type of area that South Jersey is, I think it's a lot more laid back. It's a lot more mm. like sort of like California, not the California way, and more like a more like a South Jersey way. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like people aren't getting dressed up to go out to the mall or to the store. They're wearing comfortable clothes to go out to the mall or to the store. So yeah, it, there's I think a lot of people do that these days anyway, right? Yeah, maybe I don't know. I just noticed a difference. Well, I think it's good to pay more attention to what you're wearing. I mean, it's not like I always do. You've seen me on days where I look like hell, and for one reason or another. And um, yes, I do. Maybe you haven't seen it then, because I do. <laughs> I've spared you the sight <laughs> of seeing me looking like hell, but I don't go out of the house every day with a full face of makeup and you know trying to put an outfit together. I try and do that often because it makes me feel better about myself. It, I think, it's just. A better way to present yourself to the world. You bring up you bring up a good point about confidence, right? So yeah. everybody has varying levels of confidence. One of the tricks that you can do for yourself is to make sure that you're well put together wherever you go. And there's kind of a, a side effect to that, which is you never know who you're going to meet when that's you're true. out. Yeah, right? that's absolutely. True. And like biggest regrets, I guarantee you, are going to be I'm just going to throw on this T-shirt and these shorts and run out to the store, and I bump into. 
whoever, you know, like Britney Spears, and you're like, uh, 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 and you walk away. I don't know if I care what she thinks of me, but <laughs> how about, um, what's an actor that I like? Matt Damon. Yeah, he's alright. Sorry, Matt. Uh, Edward Norton. If I ran into Edward Norton, I would want to look my absolute best. This is an interesting view into your psyche. Ed Norton? He's a fantastic actor, first of all. Well, yeah, I hate him in every movie. He must be good. <laughs> you hate Edward Norton in every movie? I hate his character in every oh, movie, which I means no he's longer a great... talk to you. Seriously? <laughs> no. You watch Rounders? I did watch Rounders. Oh my god, That's I want to strangle him in that movie. Oh. But that means he's good. Uh, yeah, it does mean. But I don't great. know that he is he good looking, really? Sorry. Um, Ed. He, well, Sorry. he's. No, Edward Norton. Uh, I adore you. The Italian I job. That, you want the strangle in the Italian job too. Who's the villain? Well, it, and he was the villain in American History X, although he got really buff for that movie, which was kind of interesting. Uh, anyway, no, I I don't think he's like the classical version of good looking. <clears throat> he's a, got a little bit nerdy and a little bit handsome, and but I respect his acting. And just from what I know of his public persona, I don't know the guy personally, okay, but what I've seen of him in interviews, he's very intellectual, and he's, I don't know, he's just, I think has the whole package. I have to respect that. I do. Because, again, back to style and, and fashion, like, people will dress up, and mm -hmm. in my opinion, you had asked me about girls, personality is very, yeah. very key, right? Yes. So, the personality complements your looks, which is kind of generated by your style almost. So, yes, yeah. I... I I respect that point of view. So that's the question I wanted to ask you. Oh. That's one of them that I had forgotten before. When you go on a date with a girl, no. does that ever happen? Or <laughs> <laughs> not successfully, but <laughs> I know you do. You told me about dates with girls. So oh God. Um, I'm just we're very good friends. I'm razzing him. <laughs> what is your approach to a night out on a date? Oh, that's a tough question. So hopefully you know something about this person before you've met them, so you can kind of. Well, a lot of people meet online. It's true, but if so you meet you online, you can still have a conversation and say, yes. hey, what are you into? That kind of thing. Yes. So, in my opinion, if you're into somebody and you've had a healthy enough conversation with them where you kind of get a feel for what their personality is like before you meet them, yeah. you could choose something that's maybe a little bit um, unorthodox. Hmm. So, rather than going to have dinner and drinks like everybody else does, maybe you go to the go-kart track and you race go-karts. Because it's casual, you can throw on some jeans, like you don't have to worry about getting all dressed up, you're going to wear a helmet, your hair is going to get messed up anyway, yeah, you know, that kind of thing. Or just something outside, go to the driving range, play some golf. So yeah. it's like anything that's like, when I say active, like you don't want to be climbing mountains, but at the same time, kind of keeps things moving. And, Actually, uh -oh. do you want to hear the most fun first date I ever had? I do. And this was my, I set this up, okay, I'm very proud of this first date. I will never do it again, <laughs> but I took a friend, well boyfriend at the time. First date, skydiving. Holy moly. Yes. How many days did you go on? Oh, we dated for probably several months after that. Uh, successful. Yeah. I already knew him as a friend, actually, and we, so I knew a little bit about him. I knew that he was really adventurous, speaking of knowing the person. I have a follow-up question, because okay. now I'm fascinated. You want this thing to hit a million hits? Okay. You want a million views on YouTube? Uh, yeah. You need to let guys know. So you said he was a friend first. Yes. And then you went on a date that lasted for several months. So yes. I would consider that a somewhat successful relationship. Yeah, and so, we're still friends today. Okay, so you have a guy that broke out of the elusive friend zone. Mm -hmm. And got into the better than friend zone. Mm -hmm. And then ended up back in the friend zone? Yes, but it wasn't really my choice. At the time we dated, he had been seeing someone else on and off for a long time. They were not together when we dated, so mm -hmm. he wasn't playing around. Guy sounds good. He's a, no, he's a good guy. He's, well, I can well. honestly say he's got some principles, which is one of the reasons I liked him a lot. Mm. Um, but he wasn't over this girl. I went in knowing that they had had a close relationship and um, I was going to take my chances because I liked the guy and it just ended up that they really weren't done with each other. And I could see that after a few months. I, I, it was obvious. I think that's that's fair though, right? Like you recognized it, you took a chance. We'll flash his number at the bottom of the screen for you ladies if you're looking for an exciting first date. And that's good though. Like you know, is that the question that's going to give me a million hits? No, it was the friend zone thing. Like, <laughs> oh okay, this is proof that you can get out of the friend zone. You can't Maybe go it requires zone. a little bit of alcohol, but you can still get out of the friend zone. Okay. So you know how he got out of the friend zone? Ooh, Not alcohol. Gold. gold. I'll, I'll give you three guesses. Um, you're never gonna guess. All right, bear with me. <laughs> 
Can we put the list on the screen when, when we edit this? Yes. Okay. I, I'm go it's just like like twenty five thousand dollar pyramid or something. I'm gonna go with um, flowers. No. No. <laughs> intellectual conversation. Witty intellectual conversation. Yeah, that's part of it, but that's not what I'm thinking. <laughs> so you get half a point. I got half a point. I've only got one guess left. That's your problem. <laughs> <laughs> um, last guess. Uh, kindness. Um, he was kind. He is kind. I should say he's not dead. He's kind, but that is not. Said to me. That is not what got him out of the friend zone. All right. <laughs> Hit me. I gotta hear this. Dancing. What? Dancing. Dancing. All right. I can respect that because ladies always love to go dancing, and at a certain <laughs> age, men are like I'm tired of the dancing. Just same thing with the sports, right? But this wasn't just any dancing. Uh oh, salsa. So, <laughs> no, it wasn't even salsa. So yeah, I, I do salsa, but I also do Lindy Hop, and I was like a huge Lindy Hop. Still do Lindy Hop. It's an old form of swing. It, they it say welcome to 1946. It, yeah, it's like a dance from the 30s and 40s. It's swing dancing, but it's a form of swing dancing that is a little bit older than what you would think of as jitterbug or something. It comes before that. So I would travel all over the country to different dance exchanges, actually internationally, to go to dance exchanges, and I did some performing performances. And I met this guy through the dance scene um, when I was out of town at an exchange, and he was a great dancer. Fabulous dancer. Um, but it's not just, you know, you get on the floor and you just kind of move around. You have to learn the steps. It's an actual dance, like chemistry. the waltz is a dance. Yeah, there's a lot of chemistry there. So that's what broke him out of the friend zone. I'm impressed. So guys. There you go. Swing, shag, and Lindy Hop. <laughs> that's great. I, hey, there's, there's actual physical proof now. Like yeah, There is proof. Right. It is possible. But now he's back in the friend zone. So I don't know if that was really success. Was that really successful? Sometimes those three months are worth it. So. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Well, did we cover everything we wanted? We covered a lot. I don't think we told people what your hobby is. Oh, um, I do watercolor. <laughs> no. And you sell? You do water? You seriously do watercolor? No. <laughs> <laughs> Some guys do watercolor. I this guy does not. Right. <laughs> I'd have a lot more to say about fashion if I did watercolors. <laughs> um, <laughs> you are such an I am. <laughs> I'm from Jersey. Jersey. Say it again, Jersey. 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 Oh, water. Water. <laughs> anyway, oh, sorry. Your question was, what's my hobby? Yes, your hobby. My hobby's cars. 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 Racing cars? Racing cars, building cars, anything with cars. Restoring cars, fixing cars. Oh, you can fix cars? Uh -oh. Well, let's go down to the garage right now uh -oh. because... <laughs> Friend zone. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he really is big into cars and racing and he posts about racing all the time. So I do. I think it'll be really interesting. Porsche um, fan. If you're, if you're a guy watching this video, then you might want to check out his racing videos. You definitely or, should. I mean, if you're a girl too, it's not like... Yeah, now if you're a girl that likes my racing videos, then we can talk. Then I'm gonna flash your number at the bottom of the screen so all the ladies can call you. Yes. Oh, and there they go! Wow. <laughs> wow, that was quick. Can I take this? I gotta take I, this. I think he's got a date. <laughs> <laughs> she can wait. <laughs> that was crazy. You gotta make a sweat. <laughs> all right, well, this has been Pamela, and this is my great friend. I'm just. God. <laughs> And thank you for talking style, cruelty-free fashion, sure. dating, what gets you out of the friend zone, um, cars. Cars. And Jersey. And Jersey. We're going to talk Jersey next time. Was that all right? Jersey, yeah. Jersey. Thanks, friend. All right.